if we look at this question here, and in particular 6.2, what we're trying to say here is, um, well, we've got the two trolley system here. Now, one of the biggest misconceptions you're ever going to see here is that people who just assume that the force is just um, the force of one trolley or the force of one trolley in the blocks. It's not. F equals MA relates to the, the total mass of the system and the resultant force of the system. So in this situation here, what you can see is you've got uh, one trolley here with a larger mass and obviously a larger a weight force which is accelerating it down the slope and here we've got a smaller mass but we need to include the mass of the whole system when we're using F equals MA. Now the question here asks us to um, basically prove this equation. Now this equation's got A in it and it's got M in it. Well it's got A in it, it's got M in it, which equation are we going to use? Well it logically tells us that it should be used F equals MA. Now uh, we need to go then go back and have a look at this part of the system here and just say well actually what I've got here is I've got a force here which is larger and a force here which is smaller therefore this trolley will be going downwards and this trolley will be going upwards. So we're going to have a resultant force here and we're going to have one minus the other to tell us the acceleration of B. What we're trying to work out here is the re resultant force on B. Now, uh, what we do here is we know that, uh, let's just put down first of all that FB, the force on B equals big M, in this case here, the mass of the trolley, uh, G sine 35. Now, so you might be wondering why it's sine 35. Well, uh, the way I like to draw this is, uh, there are many other ways I'm sure you'll have learned in maths, but uh, here, if I've got the slope here and there's my trolley, I'm just going to ignore the wheels and just treat it as a regular object, and I'm going to draw the centre of mass on there. Now, if you draw a line straight down from there, that is going to equal mg. That is the weight force of uh, the trolley. The weight force component is going to vary from a maximum mg to zero. It can never be more than mg. So here, if I know that that is going to be the maximum, then I can draw a triangle on this diagram here. And that triangle has to have that as the hypotenuse because that's the maximum value it can ever be. So if I draw a right angle triangle on here, there are many others you could draw, but this is the one I prefer. Then I can see here that I've got my hypotenuse. I've got um, my, well, I'm going to, let's call that the angle. I'm going to call that the adjacent, and I'm going to call this the opposite. So, how does that relate to this angle here? Well, that angle there and that angle there are exactly the same. So if that's 35 degrees, that also must be 35 degrees. And if you're not sure, you could draw a line across from there, because any line from there will be still 35 degrees, which means that will be 35 minus 90, which means, obviously you, you worked it out, that that's got to be 35 degrees. So if I want to work out a component going down the slope, it's going to be this part of the triangle here. It's going to be the opposite, which then becomes sine 35. So it's mg sine 35 is going to equal the force um, acting down the slope because of b. Now, if we look at A, the force due to A then must be this M here, the big M, plus 2M. Because if you look back at the diagram here, you've got the two blocks on there. So that equals 2 little m plus big M G sine 35 degrees. Let's just put those in brackets. Let's just say that FA minus FB is going to equal our resultant force. So let's put those values in. Equals 
our resultant force, and let's just call that F R. Right, now I want to expand out this bracket. So, well, those two, we're going to minus out. So we're going to end up with the resultant force actually just being because of the two blocks, 2 m g sine 35 degrees. Now, we could have done that logically and just looked at this here and say, well, if those two trolleys were identical, and they would just stay there. Newton's third law tells us this. We've got a resultant force from B, which is exactly equal and opposite to resultant force from A. Therefore, they're going to stay stationary. So the only thing that's accelerating them is the two blocks. So I've just proved mathematically that that is the case. But um, you know, we could have instinctively actually worked out that that would have been the case. The resultant force would have been 2 little mg times sine 35. So let's go back and let's put that into our equation of F equals ma. We're trying to find the acceleration, so all we're actually doing here is we're saying that um, acceleration equals uh, force divided by mass. And let's just say here, resultant force divided by total mass. Let's probably put that in there. Now, let's put that into here. Two little m plus two big M. Oh look, two, two, two. Let's divide through by the twos. Then we end up with our final equation, which is what is requested, mg sine 35 divided by little m plus big M, or in their case, big M plus little m, same thing. And there's your final answer.